going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, K2KC Boxing Network. And you know me. I'm working, baby. I'm working. First of all, this is another edition of Boxing Updates. Now, I want to thank everyone for coming out Saturday night. Thank you all for riding with KQ. Over 15,000 of you all viewed my call. I had a lot of great, great, great compliments on that call. Thank you. I appreciate you. Now, let's talk about it. But before we do that, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell icon. That way, you will get notified each and every time we do a live stream or I do a video update, unboxing uh, 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 updates like now, or me and Knockout Boxing 86 TV. We go live every Sunday at 9 a.m., the young G and the OG. So, make sure you do that. Do that for KQKC. Now, let's talk about it. Canelo versus Jamel Charlo. Both undisputed versus undisputed. Now, first of all, Jamel Charlo boxed a great fight, in my opinion. He's my favorite fighter. Now, of course, some people are delusional. Some people say, well, I would like to see him be more aggressive. Well, let's be honest. Because I'm not a biased type of content creator. Even though he's my favorite fighter. Now, Jamel is going up two weight classes. Two weight classes. Now, of course, he never fought a 168 pounder. Uh, uh, he never got hit by a 168 pounder. I mean, think about it. He was in there with Demetri Bivol. Would he or should he be aggressive? See, for those that think they know boxing, you better realize something. When you start being more aggressive and opening yourself up, then that makes you more odds of getting knocked out. A la Roley Romero and Javante Davis. Now, I hear a lot of people say, well, I would like for him to get in there and do like he did Castano, fight like he did uh, Tony Harris, like he did Luba. No, those are 154 pounders. Weight classes are here for a reason. What's wrong with you all? Don't you understand that? That's why I never agree when fighters jump up two weight classes. Then that's the case. Everybody going to be jumping up. Look at Terrence Crawford. All you all think, oh, he can jump up three weight classes and beat Canelo. No, he cannot. Just because he's taller, has a longer reach, that makes him uh, some kind of superior? Oh, no. No. No, stop acting like the man Superman. That's not going to happen. And plus, PBC has a plan. Wait, uh, oh, you thought they going to pay Canelo all his money without a plan for the three fights? And it don't include Terrence Crawford. Please. Now, yes, Jamel did a great job against these guys. Uh, Castano, uh, Harrison, all these guys at 154. He went through the whole division. But we are talking about a different type of creature. Weight classes are there for a reason. And Jamil found that out last night. Which many other fighters have felt, uh, found that out way before then. It wasn't on money grab. He makes money. And this is his words, not mine. He makes money. He'll continue on making money. He got money. 
to think, stop thinking everything is a black and white issue. Don't think everything is always, oh, it was a fixed fight. Stop always looking at the negative things and try to look at the positive things. Stop clickbaiting also. You know what it was. He put his hands in his pocket because he felt that power. See, Canelo got a little old trick he does. It's tactic. That's all. He hit you on the arm. Boots up that arm or uh, hurt that arm so you can't jab. Then he'll go downstairs to the body. He'll go like that, but it's not going to the body. It's not going to the stern or lip. It's going to the upper leg. And that hurts. That hurts. So Jamel did the right thing by taking a knee. He got hit on equilibrium. Cause most guys, what? They get right on up. I'm okay, I'm okay. And go right back in there and get knocked out. It's called basic common damn sense. So Jamel did the right thing. He took a knee. Hold on, hold on. I'll take this knee and clean my head for a minute. You know. So, he did the right thing. He did the right thing like Steven Jackson said. So, now, of course, a lot of things Gary James told him to do, he did not do. But, what he did do, Canelo had to give him credit. He stayed out of harm's way. He threw a couple jabs, move, a couple jabs, move. Try to go down to the body, move. He tried to throw that big punch, but, of course, uh, Canelo saw it coming. So, Jamel wanted to be great, test his skills, and see what he can do at a higher, higher level. But, once again, boxing prevails. Boxing prevails. Boxing won Saturday night. Not only can Canelo and, uh, uh, sell out, pay-per-view sale. See, those are all the attributes he brings to the table. And now, Jamel, he would be a better fighter. Sometimes you gotta take one and come back and get one. Because Jamel did take some flush shots and did not fall. So, with that said, please, people, Stop with the bias shit. Please. Now, I'm not just saying that because, you know, he's my favorite fighter. Yes, he used to talk a lot of shit. I don't even say that. But, he backs it up. But last night, he showed growth and development through the promotion. Through the promotion. Because Canelo was trying to figure out, man, what's the energy? Because, see, Canelo wanted to get it fired up. But he ain't going to give Canelo that opportunity. You have to fire up your own self. And Canelo did that. Canelo was in impeccable shape. He was ripped. He was cut. He did not take a stool. Why? Because he knew it would be easy. Jamel doesn't hit enough or that hard not a Canelo or a Bibble or anybody else at 168. So, so, K2, I will be off today. I will be off today just to recoup, you know, get myself together and do a couple things too I need to do. And, uh, so, I will be back tomorrow same time, same place. <clears throat> same bat channel. So with that, that's all I have. I'm KQ, KC Boston Network. If you haven't subscribed, go right ahead and subscribe right now. Show your love for KQ. Because, man, we had a great time this weekend. And I want to thank all my people, all my truck drivers. They'll be listening when I call fights. Because they can't see the fight. Thank you. And my chat, the Wow Wow chat, I love y'all. I really do. 
We don't argue. We might uh, disagree on a few things, but we agree to disagree. I don't fuss at them. I don't tell them, that's like that, that's right No, I don't do all that. No. If I bite you in, baby, I bite you in. So, that's all I have. So, uh, 